Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about making up a little block that I call cross patch using five inch squares. Now this, I have a lot of five inch squares in my cupboard and I'm sure some of you do too. And if you don't, they're pretty easy to come by. You often uh, can have five inch chum square packs in shops and things and there's various clubs and things around. But anyway, I, I'm often thinking up new ideas to use with my five inch squares. So I have actually done a pattern using this little block that I've called cross patch. And I've called the quilt cross patch using five inch squares and it is available on my site, gourmetquilter.com. Um, but so today I'll show you how to make that block. So we're starting off with some five inch squares and I've chosen to do it in a black, white and gray theme this time. And I, so I've got a little pile here of some black fabrics with white designs on them. And I've got a little pile here of some soft greys. Now these are all different greys, um, but they're all kind of similar. But it's quite nice to have the variation um, of colour within that. So first of all, and the other thing is, when you're making this block, you should have twice as many of your main colour as you do of the ones that make the little crosses. And so today I'm going to show you, I've lined up my little stack, I've got about four squares together here. And I've lined them up with the lines on my board and they're sitting nicely as five inch squares. And I'm going to cut those in half, so at two and a half inches. And then I'm going to turn them around and I'm going to cut them again into two and a half inch squares. So you get four two and a half inch squares out of a five inch square. So they're now ready to use and then with my soft greys to make the little crosses I'm going to cut those again I've lined them up on the board and I'm going to now cut them into one inch strips so they're only narrow this is a, um, a little bit of a fiddly sewing block but it's very effective when it's done so I'm just going to cut I need to get at least four of those one inch strips out so if your squares are not a hundred percent square then you probably don't really need that last bit then half of those, so two of those strips, I'm going to turn them around and I'm going to cut them in half into two and a half inch by one inch pieces. So now I'm ready to go to the sewing machine to start sewing my block together. So I've got my squares and my little strips. So initially we're going to sew a little strip to a square. So just using your quarter inch seam allowance and just a little scant quarter inch is always a good idea. Just that whisker under the quarter inch to allow for the fold. So just to make one block, I only really need to show you on a couple of these pieces. So I'm going to sew two short lengths or one, one to each of two squares. You can chain piece them, just feed them through. And I'm going to snip them apart. And I like to press as I go. So I'm going to press, now I'm going to press that seam into the sashing, the little, the little cross strip. So I'm going to lay the square down and just gently run over that seam and press it that, in that direction. So the same thing on the other one. And now I'm going to come back and sew another square on the other side of, of that block, of that strip. So I've got a strip, square on that side, then the strip, then I'm going to sew the other square to that strip. And same with the other one, another square to that strip. Take them out, press again, press that seam in towards the soft grey, into the narrow strip. Okay, and now I'm ready for one of my longer strips that we cut, that we didn't cut in half. 
here and I'm going to sew that in between those two. I'll find one I haven't used yet. So now I'm just going to lay that strip right sides together over the full length and it should all fit, it should all be five inches. And so with my quarter inch seam allowance. And again I'm going to press that. I find that pressing as you go makes such a difference to the way a block comes out, especially with these particularly fiddly little seam areas. It's very helpful to have it all pressed as you go. And now I'm going to sew that strip onto another little joined two squares bit. So there I have my block all finished and that measures now, guess what, five inches square because we started off with five inch squares but because we've sewn the bits together with another piece that's allowing it to still stay at five inches square. So your block is going to finish when you've sewn it into um, your quilt or whatever project you're making. It will end up as a four and a half inch block so currently it, me it measures five inches. So I have made several of these blocks so that you can just see how that's going to come out and you can see it's going to be quite striking so you could use a, a whole variety of different colorways for this and they wouldn't have to um, be the black and the gray necessarily some bright colors or some really strong color as your little crisscross bits would be very effective um, and I have made a quilt um, in different colors in the sort of creamy tanny colors using this block this is the one that's shown in my pattern. So you can see that's really quite effective and a great way of using up similar colour um, five inch squares. Thank you.